You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a familiar face here in the studio for Greater Brockton, Archie Gormley. Welcome, Archie. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Same here. Um, we have a big event this year coming up at City Hall on March 10th. Tell us about it. That's correct. Uh, on March 10th, as we do every year, we uh, honor the, uh, the passing of 13 brave firefighters that lost their lives in the Strand Theater fire on March 10th, 1941. Uh, this year marks the 75th anniversary of that tragic event. So we want to do our best to uh, honor those men and show their families that, as we say, we will never forget them. Mm -hmm. I learned that very early in my life. I had the pleasure of going to West Junior High at the time, and I had David Carroll. Oh, yes. Who had a family member that uh, was in, unfortunately, yes, perished. Yes, did. Yep. And, and we heard about that. He was the chairman of the history department at Brockton High, at, at West. Okay. And we knew Strand. Yeah. We talked Strand all the time. Yeah. So when I ended up in the cable business, every year we've covered that yeah. event. And you guys have done a phenomenal job with the, with the statue over there yes. and the way it looks at City Hall Plaza. Yeah. Chief Burrell, who we all miss, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yes, was yes. Uh, the last uh, surviving yeah. member that That's, survived. That's true, and uh, it was great that you know he was around during the unveiling because that was the day he found out that it was his likeness on the statue. Yeah, so that was a great you know honor for him and surprise for him. That was amazing, and he was a very very humble man. I, yes. I would try to interview him every year, and he would. Yeah say, eh, you don't want to talk to me, right, go exactly. away. And yeah. we, we miss him at Rotary. He was we our did, sergeant yeah. at arms at Rotary. And he always had a good story. He did, yes. he most certainly did. Yep. And he was pretty pretty with it all the way he till was. the end. That it's amazing. Yep. So tell us about the event. What, what, what do people expect? It is during the work day, so some people can't go to it, but they can see it on TV. Absolutely, and uh, we appreciate you being there to support us like that. Uh, what'll happen is, uh, as usual, we'll start off at 10 a.m. at City Hall. Uh, in the past, we have done it out. Uh, I'm sorry, inside. Mm -hmm. This year, we are providing a tent where we're planning on doing it on the outside. Okay. So it will be an enclosed tent. Uh, we will hopefully have enough seating for everybody. We have a large enough tent. Uh, we'll do the regular ceremony. We're in the process of uh, coming up with invitations, uh, contacting family members. So if any family members are out there, you know, please get in touch with us so we have a contact point and we can get them together, get them at the event. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe probably an hour or so long at the City Hall, and then we'll continue it down our Union Hall where we'll have something to eat and uh, more events going on. And you get to see half a fire engine over there. Uh, absolutely. Sticking out of the wall. Yep, yep. It's pretty cool. I like, your, I like your, your, your uh, venue there. Yeah. Well, our membership did a lot of work when we bought that, as they did with this monument here. Mm -hmm. you know, Lieutenant Richie Baker, he grabbed the bull by the horns, as they say, spearheaded the event, and uh, after seven long years of digging and clawing and everything, we have that beautiful monument at City Hall. So 75 years, wow, that's, that's yes. quite uh, extended, because I, you know, the, the paper has always put out the pictures of right. the past, and yeah. I remember a couple of times when I was a kid, special sections on it. Yeah. Is there any kind of a booklet for the 75th? Uh, there will or? be, and we will have it uh, ready for that day at the uh, event itself. Okay. And we also have, uh, very fortunate that we have uh, Chief Galligan and Jim Benson up at the Historical Society and the Fire Museum, who will be doing a presentation not only up there, but also at uh, City Hall. Oh, great. With pictures and all that. Okay. So we have a lot of people involved in this, and as the other event said, that uh, we'll have our honor guards there. It'll be Brockton and Fire, uh, Brockton Fire and Brockton Police, mm -hmm. and we are hoping, and I believe we will have people from our Scranton brothers and sisters, Scranton, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. coming up to visit with us. And the reason, if I may, go into why sure. they're there is yes. back when this tragic event happened in 1941, a Scranton, Pennsylvania firefighter had a piece of anthracite coal that's still in front of the mayor's office today, mm -hmm. which, which he carved up with all the names of all the members that had perished that day. And uh, that's how uh, many years after that, they had a tragic event that we went down and met with them, and we've become great friends ever since once again. 
Well, that's how it kind of works in, in your profession. It's kind of a brotherhood and I guess a sisterhood it as is. well. Absolutely. Where if yes. there's an event or a tragedy, that's what mutual aid's yep. all about. Yep. That's what um, I know people went down 9-11 from Brockton, yes. um, mm -hmm. Marathon, things yep. like that. Yep. Um, you know, I, I think that's why people honor and respect firefighters because they're always out there to help. Who, who, who doesn't like a firefighter? Come on. Well, we, we try to do the same thing with the people we go and help. You know? mm -hmm. We want to honor and respect them also you know, because we know they're going through a bad situation. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can alleviate their pain. Changed quite a bit. It's not all about fighting fires now. You're no, dealing. No. You're dealing with things like the opioid e epidemic Ab with absolutely. the Narcan on on different. Uh, I didn't even know what that was yeah. until uh, the mayor took office and right. he, he brought that out on the forefront. Yeah, he did, and and we were using it for uh, the ambulances. were using it for a while before that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's something you have to do. That's what we're here for. We're public servants. You know, we have to help them out. Now I have a question. One of the most interesting parts, I think, of the ceremony is when the bell rings. Yes. Okay. Tell us about the significance of that. We always try to get it right and have the camera in the right <laughs> position. Well, the bell is basically we uh, when I read off the names, and I'm very fortunate being the president, I get to read the names, and it's it still sends the, the chill up your back. Mm -hmm. You know, but after each name, you give them the dedication of ringing a bell, uh, and uh, at the end of the ceremony. We ring the bell a number of times, and basically that's the uh, come home bell, as they call it, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what they're doing. They've gone home, so we honor them that way. Well, I'm glad you keep the memory alive. We're happy to be part of it every year, and just keep doing what you're doing. Well, thank you very much, and we hope to, that's okay. for sure. So the Strand 75th Anniversary Memorial Ceremony will be on March 10th at 10 o'clock at Brockton City Hall. Um, make sure you attend that or watch it on TV. Make sure you know about the history of the tragedy here in Brockton, which had been one of the largest losses of life. And uh, after you've done all that, you can, a uh, couple of days later, you can go to the St. Patrick's Day Mass for the public safety officials here in the city of Champions on March 12th. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champions. <laughs>